Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm getting started on a three-tiered birthday cake. Um, thank you guys so much for all your support on my last um, tiered cake. That was a wedding cake. I will leave a link in the description um, if you want to check that out. Today is going to be a struggle, guys. I am not going to lie to you. Um, I've been in class all day. It's about 6 p.m. And it's Thursday and the cake is for Saturday. So we're gonna get all the baking done today. Tomorrow will be the frosting and Saturday will be the decorations. Um, so yeah, let's get into this cake. It's gonna be a chocolate cake with chocolate fudge um, buttercream for the bottom and top tier. And the middle tier will be a lemon cake with a vanilla Italian meringue buttercream and white chocolate shavings um, all around it. And the chocolate cakes will be covered in chocolate ganache. And then there'll be some chocolate dipped fruit and maybe some candied lemon peel all around the edges. And it is an 80th birthday cake, so we'll have a big 80 on top. So it's very hot in here. I'm tired and I'm getting cranky. <laughs> so let's get started, guys. So what I like to do is um, just write out all of my recipes in whatever ratios I need them for the particular cake and that just makes sure that I don't forget anything and I don't mess anything up when I'm trying to convert the recipes. It's already pre-done and makes my life so much easier. So I am starting things off by making the chocolate cakes. And of course I have to taste the batter because quality control, right guys? Um, and then once they were in the oven, I went ahead and started on the lemon cakes. And as you can see, I am really not a lemon person, but I had to try it anyways. Okay guys, so we are done with the baking. That actually didn't take quite as long as I thought it would. I think it's like 8.30 or 9. I thought it would be a lot later. Um, so I'm just going to flip all of these out of their pans. And then once they're cool, I will wrap them tightly in plastic wrap just so they don't dry out. And we'll come back to them tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. Bye. Hey guys, I am back in the kitchen. It is day two of the cake making process. I just got home from class. It's about um, 3.20, so I've got plenty of time. Today I'm gonna finish um, filling and frosting the cakes and finishing them all off. Um, so that tomorrow all that's left to do is the decorations and um, delivery. So let's get right into this. So I am starting off here making the chocolate fudge frosting. Oh my god, this is so good. Okay, so I'm just about to start stacking my cakes, but I just got the topper um, in the mail. It just got delivered, so we're gonna open that and see how it looks. Gorgeous. I don't know if you can see the crystals. They look actually, wait, there we go. They look. And I'm gonna stop myself there to spare you from hearing me go on and on about how pretty and shiny it is. So moving on, I am gonna fill and stack the chocolate cakes here. And then I'm going to let them chill a bit in the fridge before I go ahead and cover them in ganache. Now I'm using a vegetable peeler to make some white chocolate curls for the lemon cake and I'm not gonna lie these were a pain to make because they took forever and the chocolate was literally melting all over my hands but they look really pretty so that's all that matters right? Um, and then I made some Italian rank buttercream and I'm just trimming the lemon cakes and then stacking and filling them. 
And I actually didn't bother doing a crumb coat for this cake because I am going to be covering it with white chocolate curls. So I wasn't really looking for a perfect finish with the buttercream. close to being done for the day. I just have to make the ganache and cover the cakes, the chocolate cakes in ganache. So let's get chopping this chocolate. And finally, it is time to cover the chocolate cakes now that the frosting has had a chance to chill. And I actually ended up using a blow dryer to smooth out the ganache a little bit because I wasn't getting a perfectly smooth finish, so that helped me out a little bit. So there's the white chocolate one, it's gorgeous. And then we have our two chocolate cakes covered in ganache. So that is the end of today, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, it is day three. Today is the day of the event. As you can see, I am in my car. Um, I'm not in the kitchen, and that's because the cakes are done. I'm just going to head um, to a fruit market and get some fresh fruit. I'm going to get, I think, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, and maybe some of those like orange things. I think they're called kumquats. Might get some of those. I'm just going to go and see what looks good. Then we're going to come back and dip the strawberries and get everything ready to go. And then we'll go to the venue. So let's get started. Look at this gorgeous fruit. Oh my god, I wanted to eat it so badly. But instead, I went ahead and started on the tuxedo strawberries. I actually have a video on making chocolate dipped strawberries that includes this design. So I'll link that down below if you want to check that out and learn how to make these cute little guys. taking some raspberries and drizzling them with dark and white chocolate to give them a little something extra. And finally, I'm taking some leftover ganache that I left in the fridge overnight and just rolling it in some cocoa powder to make little truffles to go on top of the cake. And the last thing I'm doing before I start loading up the car is to add some thick straws or bubble tea straws into the bottom and middle tier cakes to help hold the weight of the cake once it's stacked. And now I am just loading up the car and then heading to the venue. Okay guys, now it's time for the fun part. We're gonna put it all together. This is honestly my favorite part because we can see all of the individual pieces come together into one beautiful cake. So there we have it guys, here is the final product. I think it turned out really nicely. I love the different textures from the ganache and white chocolate curls and also the little pop of color from the fruit. And of course the topper really just pulls it all together and adds just enough bling to really give it that wow factor. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and turn on post notifications to get a notification every time I post. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!